Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you a couple of ways how to measure area in AutoCAD. First of all, let's draw some objects. I will draw a circle with the radius of 100, let's say, it's not a matter. And then a rectangle. And why not a circle, a uh, triangle, sorry. The first command that we will use, it will be obvious the area command. So go with area and go here with object and select the boundary of this circle. And automatically you can see 31,000 units, also the circumference. The same command you can apply for this rectangle. So go with object and select boundary and I have the area. Or go again with area and add area and go for every corner. and press enter and I have the area. You can do it as well for this triangle because at this, at this triangle you have no choice. That means you can apply area but you cannot apply object because these lines are separate. They are not a polygon anymore. So you can go also with uh, area and add area. You have no choice is the only option. Press enter. The same, the same command could be measure job. This is another command that I highly recommend to use. Uh, this command, you see that, that it is a very complex command because you have distance, radius, angle, area, and volume. We will go obvious with area. And it's basically the same thing. Select every single corner for a drawing. Press enter. And you have the area. Let's say I want to know the area of two objects, not one. So I will go with area again and I will go with add area, let's say. It's not a problem, it's the same thing. I have this area and now I will go with object. Select the circle. You see that I have still, the this surface is still green. I will select the boundary of the circle. I made it green too. Press enter now. And you see area 31,000, okay. But after that, the line below, it's total area. And the total area means the area of both. Let's, let's say I have another example. I have a circle in the interior, exactly from the middle, why not? And I want to measure the area of this rectangle, but without the area of this circle. How can I do it? Simple. I'll go, I have plenty of options basically, I'll go with the hatch command and select this surface. Click at the hatch, right click and go at properties. And at properties I see here an area of 80, 85,000 units. This is the first thing that you can do. Now another thing that you can, it's of course with the area command, go with add area, go again in every single corner every point click enter and now go here with the subtract area and pick the object because you will select the circle and it is an object not an add area select the circle and as you see comparing with the example before this is the green now this area is green and the area of the circle is red so automatically it will be deleted. So press enter and you see the total area is exactly the difference between this rectangle, the area of this rectangle and the area of this circle. And you see here area 11,000 11, is exactly the area of this circle. So let's move on. I have another case here. Let's say I will need, I will draw, uh, not here. Actually I can delete this tri triangle. And I need just this area of this side. How can I do it? I can go also with the hatch command. Okay, select the hatch and go with properties. Okay, and I have the area. Or another option, delete this and go with boundary. Pick points. Basically with pick points, you will select the area and press enter, click. And now you see that I have a polyline here. Click at this polyline and right click and properties. And it's the same thing, 15,000. 
units. It's basically very, very simple. Let's have a practical example now. Let's say I have this floor building. If, if you don't know how I made it, how I draw it, I highly recommend going in the description. You have a link below and also a link right here in the right corner. So let's say you want to measure the surface of this room. You can go with area and add surface or with measure geom area. It's the same thing basically and press enter and you have it the exactly area and also the perimeter and now let's say you want to measure the area of this balcony but the area plus these little surfaces from the doors so you can go with um, you can go basically with hatch as i showed you before or you can go with with boundary press boundary pick points select the surface press enter and select now the polyline go with properties and you have here the total area and here you have it everything you need to know about area and how to use them properly i hope this video helped you as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time